said, said in his tweet this morning uh, that he might take funding away. Um, first of all, what? why would he want to take funding away from schools? Second of all, which funding is he referring to specifically? And thirdly, what authority does he have to do that given that most public schools are funded by local property taxes? So I would note that what I said to uh, Kristen just a bit ago, he wants to increase funding and cares yeah. for, for education, uh, but he's looking at potentially redirecting that to make sure it goes to the student and it is most likely tied to the student uh, and not to a district where schools are closed. And I would note that he said this is something he may consider in the tweet. No, I heard what you said um, with regard to CARES, but with, with regard to the president, he was saying that as a, I guess, a threat if Democratic governors or officials don't open schools in the way that he wants them. I'm just wondering, again, what authority he would use uh, to do that and which specific funds he's targeting. Yeah, not in the ways that he'd want them to open. He wants them to reopen altogether. He wants students to be welcomed back to these schools because there are real consequences. Let's be clear about what we're talking about here. Um, we're talking about a situation where you have the American Academy of Pediatrics talking about the negative impacts of children not in schools. Um, learning deficits is among them. Uh, there's increases in child and adolescent physical or sexual abuse because you don't have people reporting and notifying, uh, like teachers and uh, you know, PE teachers and school personnel notifying health departments when they see signs of this. You have increased substance abuse, depression, uh, and suicidal ideation. And this is from the American Academy of Pediatrics. So the president, he's going to push schools to reopen. These are grave consequences. Even CNN reporting uh, that experts believe that the recent decline in calls to child abuse and neglect hotlines might really mean more cases are going unnoticed. This is unacceptable, and our schools are essential, and our teachers are essential workers, and he wants them to open, and that's why he's speaking out so strongly about this. Well, would he accept, Kaylee, that the, the schools and the districts that are looking at this want to do it in the safest way possible, and that's why there seems to be some disagreement on how to do that most safely? Well, the president will always stand up to teachers' unions who want to keep these schools closed because what is best for the child is for these schools to be open. That is pretty clear. Think Ebony. You want to keep the schools closed? Ebony. Thank you, Just following on from Jeff's quest, uh, question, New York City officials today said that schools would go back in the fall on a staggered schedule of two to three days a week. I'm wondering if that's something that the administration and the president supports. So I haven't spoken to him about that plan in particular, but it's encouraging any time you see that some kids will be welcomed back onto the campus. Haven't spoken to him specifically about the New York scenario. Another 